In today's video, we're heading to Sephora. Like I mentioned, we are going to Sephora and going shopping. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've already been to Sephora. I just forgot to film the intro for this video, so before we get into the video, make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, and give this video a big thumbs up for future videos. Without further ado, let's go to Sephora. <laughs> They have their new sets out in Fenty Beauty. Look at their two things. So we have this one that has like three of their lip products in it. Those three. And then this one which has a blush, mascara, and lip gloss. And then their new lip gloss. This set is what I was kind of coming for though. With these three shades. They have the new Summer Fatties Hot Chocolate Lip Balm. They have two left. And me and my sister each wanted one. They have the new Drunk Elephant Serum. I don't know what this is. Hydro Bright. I'm not a fan of the Laneige Sleep Mask. But these are their new ones, so let's smell them. So they have eggnog and candy cane. I don't like the regular mask, but I was wanting to try one of their like lip balms, like their glowy ones. But they don't have the eggnog in their lip balm. If they did, I would get it. The Ordinary launched a body care line. Their body lotion feels really good though. I don't know if I need anything though. This body serum looks kind of cool. Fenty Beauty has their new hairline. Which is so cool. They're coming out with literally everything. Fenty Beauty also has their like holiday stuff out with their holiday kits. This is their body cream trio. It's in the scent Toasted Marshmallow. Ooh, that smells really good. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I love my Vanilla Push Put On Lip Mask and then they have like their two other ones but they launched another one for like fall. It's Salted Caramel. I think I'm just gonna go with the berry one here because my vanilla one's almost empty. Okay, it was so loud in there but I saw the new Glossier Body Butter but I was not gonna buy a almost $40 body moisturizer so I put it back. They have the new Tartar Cleanser. Okay, you guys, so I'm like sitting here editing the video and I did not realize how bad quality this video was. I am so sorry. I thought I was talking loud enough in there, but there was just so many people. It was like nerve wracking, especially in Sephora because there's like so many kids literally my age, like 13 year old girls in there. And like when one of them passes me and I'm recording myself talking, I'm like, <laughs> that, that's why I'm like putting like words at the bottom of the screen because you can't even like hear what I'm saying and it's just like so bad and it was so loud in there if you've made it this far give me the little shopping bag emoji in the comments they also have the new charlotte Tilbury mascara okay back to voiceover right here so i was like looking at the mascara wand and it looks like a good wand but almost every single high-end mascara i've bought recently i've been disappointed with and it's just like not shown any results for what i've paid for it so i did not end up getting it Someone in the comments let me know if it's good or not. Here they have the Givenchy powders. I wanted to try this until they changed their formula and now I don't want to because everyone says the formula is terrible. They have two PHA lip balms. Like this is like black. And then this one's white. It's kind of cool. Look how tiny these house lamps concealers are. Or no, no. Look at how tiny these hourglass concealers are. It's like the size of my finger. It's so cute. It's not really cute for the price though. They also have the new Patrick Ta. That looks expensive. Uh, yeah. I'm good for the price. Can someone please let me know if this House Labs eyeliner is new? It looks new, but I'm not really sure. Everyone says these Ola Hendrickson lip balms are, like, amazing. But I already have literally, like, all these lip products in the cart. 
so I think we might need to pass on that. They came up with many sizes of their Terra 28 lip softies. I don't think they have many, but that's really cute. Huda Beauty has their new primer and foundation in stock. Ooh, that one looks good. I wanted to try this spray for a little bit, but it's almost a for sale like wish list. Yeah, I'm gonna get, also get this for my one of my things for for sale. I love their cleanser by the way. If y'all want a cleanser recommendation, I need to get a restock during the sale. Look at how tiny this is. I'm gonna get this from Lars Beauty on the Sephora sale. This and their new blemish serum. I also want their moisturizer during the sale. I'm gonna get this. I know Touchline also launched like their pumpkin spice cinnamon um, paint tacker for ball, but I didn't see it here. Oh, look at how cute that mascara is from the Sephora brand. Then I looked at a couple more samples and we went and checked out. Then we went into this cute little jewelry place where they were having a huge sale. At this point, this is just turning into a shopping vlog instead of a Sephora vlog. Five for 12. Cheap jewelry kind of scares me though, because I'm worried it's going to turn my ears green. Um, I want to know who's wearing these because these are like huge. They got roses. These are cute. Cute. I'm going to put the strawberries. Ooh, the men's are cute for you. Seriously, who's wearing earrings this long? They're so huge. They would rip my ear off. Okay, but that's really cute. Then we stopped at the Cheesecake Factory for some lunch. still gonna show y'all so i got a candle from their new platinum line literally smells like a rich person ow now for sephora starting with the maybe most exciting thing i don't know matter of opinion i guess is this fenty beauty like lip set gloss thingy um it comes with three of their lip glosses for 40 dollars can we just take a minute like back up on that so this heat one i think is 26 the cream one is like 24 23 and then the regular one's like 21 do the math on that because i don't feel like it all i know is it's a good deal the first one is this like super red color it's in the shade hot cherry so this is their plumping one i think watch number one okay y'all i'm so bad at swatching but you know there's the color then we have their original one in the shade dragon mama oh, i kind of like that name so watch number two. And then we have their cream one in the shade Fenty Glow. I think this is a popular one, right? I like that. So this is like a dark perfy, perfy? That's, that's a new word, perfy. <laughs> this is a dark purple, I think. So excited. I own this one. So yeah, like look at my collection of Fenty lip glosses now. Oh, and about the uh, Summer Friday talk, chocolate cocoa bum thing, whatever. It smells so freaking good. Like, y'all don't even understand how close they hit that. Like, it smells exactly like hot chocolate. But I did not get it because... Because. Y'all, I feel like I have a problem, like, putting my hand towards the camera. Like, y'all are probably annoyed with that. <laughs> um, But I did not get the hot chocolate one because I don't wear browns. Like... I buy brown lip products, but then I don't wear them. Then I got the Fenty Beauty Push Put In Lip Sleep Mask thingy. Um, I feel like I say this. Y'all, I am so excited. Like, I am expanding my collection of stuff. Like, y'all, I don't think I can get through a video without dropping something. But yeah, I'm so excited. This is like the cherry one. It smells really good, by the way. Then I got the Tower 28 SOS Daily Brightening Gel Cleanser. So, I'm all, I, I want to try a new cleanser, okay? So, I've been using the bubble one, but I need a cleanser to foam up on my face. Otherwise, I don't think like, my face is clean. So, I'm not a big fan of milky um, cleansers. I don't know why I got that one. Like, it's good and it cleans my or it cleans my face and, like, hydrates it. But for some reason in my head, like, mentally, I cannot think that my face is clean if it doesn't set up on my face and, like, bubble up on my face. So, oh, and then you guys, I also got coffee. Then, oh, how did that get wet? 
Then with my points, I got a mini Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. So cute. I love my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. And then at the like earring place, whatever, that I've never heard of before in my entire life, I got these earrings because I recently got my ears pierced like what? two weeks ago i think like 10 days ago like it's been just barely over a week but i'm already like picking out earrings and i really like these tiny gold hoops so yeah and that was my haul for today thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed make sure to smash that like button and comment down below what was your favorite thing that i got at sephora love you guys bye